How's it going, Savage Life family? If you haven't as of yet joined the Savage Life Discord here, over 200 members, trying to reach 500, 1,000 members. The bigger we get, the more traction, the more noise we make on ETC. So join the Discord as well. Now, investing in cryptocurrency is like a slap to the face against the monetary policy. And if you want to slap the big tech companies who try to track you in the face, sign up for Nord. I have a link in the description, 75% off. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about Ethereum Classic, $54 price point. It has been dropping today, massive pain. Not massive pain at all because yesterday we got a teaser, we got a taste of what Ethereum Classic's takeoff should truly look like the only thing absolutely holding ethereum classic down is bitcoin and eth currently now since bitcoin is not above forty thousand dollars it's going to drag down ethereum classic because if bitcoin were to surpass forty thousand dollar price point ethereum classic could have been way above seventy dollars as of now now my position still holding strong not panicking at all and you all should realize how valuable ethereum classic is at the moment now there is a lot of negativity on the coin and there's so much unnecessary tribalism now, i say that because a lot of individuals regardless of the coins that they're invested in like to attack other coins like a lot of holders of ethereum like to bash ethereum classic because it's the old coin and it's a crap coin they like to call it same with cardano calling ethereum old terrible and useless now cryptocurrency hand in hand also have utility uses purposes whether if it's a store of value or if it's to power a smart application but i believe hand in hand a majority of them work together like ethereum classic works hand in hand with ethereum and ethereum works hand in hand with bitcoin they don't get in each other's way and as cryptocurrency grows in the future a majority of these coins will rise so there's absolutely no need to panic now looking at the coin market capitalization you can see ethereum classic has made its way from 23 to 19 in just a single day and that's not to mention all the coins poured into all these stable coins i mean all the money poured into all these stable coins 44 billion 62 billion a huge majority of money is yet to be dumped into a lot of these coins so there is no reason to panic but there's some great news that has been coming out lately and one of the great news is the fear and greed index is on the rise as of today is at 28 yesterday it was at 25 last week it was at 14 and we even saw an extreme two weeks ago at 10 now what does this mean there's less and less fear on the market and if there's less fear on the market it motivates a lot more individuals to invest definitely the retail investors now i'm gonna let you know the real retail investors which are people who are now buying into cryptos are going to be late on a party because you know the whales are soaking up a lot of these coins and they did soak up these coins for an example dcg digital currency group made that 50 million dollar bet when ethereum classic was in those 30 dollar price point ranges and since they made their initial investment ethereum classic has risen to this 54 dollar price point and i'm sure etcg has risen as well quite a bit so there was three things that caused the rise for ethereum classic that explosive rise as of yesterday that you saw one of those things was digital currency groups 50 million dollar investment now of course it wasn't an investment all in all at once to push the price up but their initial investment drove and started the spark nearly two days ago which caused ethereum classic to rise from these 39 dollar price points pushing it all the way up to this 45 dollar price point now from there and then on we saw some fomo activity and that fomo activity which is fear of missing out caused this drive upwards which caused a lot of the shorts to scare and sell out of their positions as well so it's not a short squeeze but a miniature short buyout for shorts to cover their position they have to buy the actual ethereum classic coin which drives the price further and further up now sad to say we didn't reach that 70 dollar price point because if we did it would have drastically dove the price 
up to those $80, $90 price point levels, but that's enough for a single day. A 30% rise is more than enough for a single day. Now, we're seeing a little correction now because of the whole Bitcoin situation. Let's hop into some news, see what's going on. First things first, let's look at this retweet that Barry Silbert retweeted. Now, he ended up saying that 99% of coins are overpriced. And then shortly after, he said we're buying 50 million worth of ETC. What does that mean? Out of the 99% coins, Ethereum Classic was clearly the 1%. And since he bought it, it has risen 60%. 5%. Now it's quite funny because if you look at the comments, you can see people's ignorance on Ethereum Classic. Why though? It's a ghost chain. What does Barry know? Now Barry knows exactly what we know here at the Savage Life family, that Ethereum Classic is extremely undervalued. There's a huge update coming for Magneto this month that a majority of the cryptocurrency market doesn't even know about. There's also Miners heading from ETH 2.0, transitioning over to ETC once that transition is made. On top of that, there's SHA-3 implementation, which is going to drastically increase the hash rate of Ethereum Classic, making the security and stability much stronger for the chain. So there's lots of catalysts pending for Ethereum Classic, and it's good that a lot of individuals like this person here does not know. A lot of these people do not know, and you're here early on the party. So what you gotta do is just simply accumulate a while there's a huge lack of knowledge out there because once the hard fork happens and once all these articles start releasing Ethereum Classic's massive upgrade, it's going to skyrocket the coin. Now, that's some good news here being that you're early to the party. Now, short interest here has released on the 15th of June. We can saw shorts have been dropping. Of course, shorts have been dropping. They've been collecting profits. But surprising to know, there's still 109,000 shares of ETCG still shorted even at this point. Well, at that $39.90 price point, which puts ETC at this $54 price point. So it's going to be a bloody mayhem if these shorters do not exit their position before the end of July because the more shorters we have, the more of a possibility of a squeeze once that bullish news is released and it's going to drive the price further and further up. So at the end of it all, it is a win-win situation for us bulls. Now, some articles we're going to look at today is Tom Brady and his wife getting into crypto here. Supermodel wife Giselle entering a long-term partnership as company ambassadors and receive an unspecified amount of crypto assets. The couple's role is to focus on crypto education, charitable efforts for FTX, which is one of the world's largest crypto exchanges and is seeking as much as $1 billion in new funding round that would value the company at around $20 billion. Now, this is good news. They are simply educating a majority of those who don't know about crypto, getting them to invest into crypto. I just hope that Tom Brady and his wife educate these newly investors into cryptos that will not get rug pulled, meaning they point them towards the direction of the top 50 cryptos, educate them on what they are doing, like Ethereum Classic is able to be a store of value like Bitcoin, and keep it pushing because if not, it could be a bad turnaround if they start pointing fingers at the wrong direction. Next, we have Point72 Asset Manager here. Steve Cohen's have you guys, as you guys should know, if you guys don't know. He bailed out Melvin Capital when they got short squeezed on that GameStop play. So he's looking to hire a head of crypto according to two people familiar with the matter. This is going to be extremely bullish because it shows more billionaires are joining into the party. And he runs a $22 billion hedge fund. So a lot of this money could be poured into crypto, which could be another investment like when Tesla made that $4 billion investment into Bitcoin. So very bullish. It's only a matter of time before his investments are made public and it's going to drive a lot of these prices up. Now, last but not least, we're going to show here some negativity, some fun that was released. And it's Mexico bans crypto at banks after billionaire promotes Bitcoin. 
Now, the central bank in Mexico has warned the country's banks that cryptocurrencies are absolutely off limits after a Bitcoin got a plug from one of the country's most powerful billionaires by the name of Ricardo Salinas. He said, quote unquote, Bitcoin is a good way to diversify your investment portfolio, and I think every investor should study cryptocurrencies and their future. All he said was study cryptocurrencies and what it's about. And after his plug, Central Bank has to cut off Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now, that's absolutely unbelievable, but you can see how not only the united states government but governments of all these other countries are trying to ban cryptocurrencies because it's a fight against their monetary policy and it's a fight against their control of the money since bitcoin and these cryptos are decentralized they have no control and no say in the matter so they have to cut off any links before it gets out of hand so all in all, very good for crypto. We saw quite the correction today. It may dip to the high 40s, but I don't see it retracing back down to the low 40s unless Bitcoin breaks $30,000. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But all in all, in the longevity of things, ETC is still looking quite bullish. So take advantage while you're the only one knowledgeable on the subject until more and more people start diving into this information. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like and subscribe to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. Later.